Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is going to be my January favourites. I'm aiming to do one of these every single month, but it is quite scary that it's now the end of the January. So I just thought I'd go through some things I've been loving. I've got some beauty, um, some like lifestyle bits, I guess like skin and body care and a food item too. First thing I've been loving is this Millie palette. This is the L'Oreal Le Petit palette and it is in Harmony. So you do have five colours, however, one of mine dropped out, which always happens. So it looks like this, you've got a nice like cream colour, like a taupey shimmer, a blue shimmer and a dark chocolate. And the dark chocolate is matte. There was like a matte black in here, but for some reason I always find that black pigment eyeshadow breaks really easily. So I didn't even use it, I just opened it up one day and it was all crumbled and fell out. But that's fine, so I don't really use black eyeshadow anymore. I used to use it when I was a lot younger, but I've kind of matured from that. So I've been using this palette um, mainly for these two colours. So I use the cream for like an inner corner highlight, under the brow bone, sometimes the top of my cupid's bow highlight. And this taupe has just been like a go-to all over lid colour. The blue is a really nice colour for, you know, just like a... I'm not quite brave enough yet for a whole blue lid but a pop of colour maybe under the under the waterline um, if I've not got anything else on to fair a pop of colour and the brown's always obviously like a staple for a smoky eye I took this with me to Venice and this is all I needed sometimes it's really hard to travel with palettes I love my Coastal Scents palette but it's like an A4 size so this is just something quite handy that I can pop around with me and have all the colours that I need Next is a concealer. This is the Maybelline's Instant Anti-Age Eraser and I've got mine in light. You would have seen this everywhere on YouTube but this is literally the best concealer I've ever used in my life. So pop the top off and it's like a sponge dome applicator on the top. You twist the red bit and it pushes the concealer up. It just covers so well. It's like a full coverage concealer. It doesn't crease. I don't find that it runs. Light is like the perfect colour for under my eyes as well. And I also like the mechanism that it uses to empty the bottle means that you're going to get all the concealer out. I've actually got two of these because I love them so much and this is definitely like a concealer I can rebuy and rebuy and rebuy. Onto eyes, I've got this eyeliner. This is the Rimmel's Wonder Wing eyeliner pen and so it's a liquid pen like this. And what I really liked about it is the nib. Also, such a brilliant word, but, so you've got like a pointed nib, but on one side of the nib, and it's going to be quite hard to show you on camera, is flattened, if you can see that flat shape there. So what you're supposed to do is draw your eyeliner on and then press that flat shape to achieve a wing. Um, it doesn't work like the most perfect stamp, but it works pretty well. I managed to achieve a pretty good wing today with this so I'm really happy and Rimmel really inexpensive. A brow product I've been loving is the Collections Incredible Brow Pencil. It looks like this. I showed you this on a haul not long ago. It's just a twist top and it just has like a pencil coal to it. I really like this. I find that you can really do like individual brow hairs nicely with this because it's like in a pointy shape. I try and keep it pointy as well so I can just draw the brow hairs on the front and it fills in nicely. It's a really nice colour for me I think because obviously I have got much darker hair and I think for a couple pounds you can't really go wrong so this is the one I've been using most days. My final beauty product that I've been loving is this foundation. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and mine's in True Ivory. This is a classic, everybody knows what it looks like. I just find this foundation is long lasting. It's it doesn't like slide off my face because I can get quite an oily like nose area. It's not even my T-zone, it's just my nose. Um, it's full coverage, but it gives me like a nice even tone like this. I'm obviously quite pale at the moment because I'm not tanning and it fits in quite well. And yeah, I just find it's really natural, really inexpensive, definitely doesn't break me out and it doesn't dry out my skin easily either so it's all round it's just a good basic staple foundation if you just want to find like a good everyday foundation that's not going to break the bank another product i've been loving is a primark product that i found and it was 15 pounds and it's this so here's the little stand that comes on this is like a, i think they're called microderma 
face brushes. So um, obviously you've got the main electric handle itself which runs on batteries and then you pop on a cleansing brush and it does like this. And then you just use this on your skin to help get your cleanser or your facial wash in. I used to have a Clarisonic Aria, I loved it. Then my Aria like head ran out because after a while they do. I couldn't find an Aria head. I looked for about six months and then realised the disc continued the Aria. And then just never re-bought a head. Now I don't even know where my Clarisonic... Clara... I don't even know where my Clarisonic... I cannot say this word. I don't even know where the Clarisonic handle is anymore. I've lost it. It was black. It was beautiful. I'm going to repurchase another one one day. But for £15, Primark have done a standout job. And also, it just is really aesthetically pleasing look. It's just nicely made. And it comes with this little handle which has like drainage on it so I can just pop it in my bathroom. A body product I've been loving is a scrub. Now, my friend got me this for Christmas and I think it's made by an independent brand so I don't actually know where it's from. But it's the gingerbread body scrub and it looks like this. Only reason I'm saying it's independent is because it's in a massive IKEA mason jar. But I absolutely love this. As you can see, I've gone through quite a lot of it because when I tan, I like to exfoliate. Oh, it just smells so good. It just smells, oh. It smells like Christmas cake batter and it's delicious and obviously it's just made out of natural sugars and I wish I could eat this, but I use this all over my body. It helps get off all of like the dead and tough skin, obviously. Also great for tan exfoliation and it's such a big jar that definitely over the, this winter period, I've been smelling like a little gingerbread cookie and I'm not even mad about it. The final thing I've been loving is a food item and it is Mr. Kipling's Deep Field Minced Pies. So I feel like this is the only month that I can kind of be obsessed with these uh, because it's Christmas, well it was Christmas and I've only got one left which I'm totally gonna eat after filming this video. But these have been my snack of choice. I love mince pies and they're not great for you they're like 230 calories a pop which is a lot of calories but after I ate this one back on the track with snacking if you eat a balanced and varied diet and do your exercise you can eat a mince pie like it's not the end of the world you know I've had really healthy meals for lunch and I'm gonna have a really healthy meal for to dinner tonight so I can eat a mince pie um, but definitely been my favorite treat and I will miss these when it's gone but I'll be excited for next Christmas and in between if I'm kind of fancying something I'm gonna get the fruit filled pies you know I think you get like two apple two cherry two mixed berry or something and I might just do that because these guys are meant for my American friends especially inspired by Tor so this is a little shout out for her I'll link her channel down below this is what the mince pie looks like. Look at that little snowflake. And it comes in its individual wrapper and it's just like a deep filled mince pie. And it is delicious. This is what they look like inside. If you can see that, they're just, they're just full of like mince fruits. But um, I definitely need to find a way of getting Tori to have these because they are amazing. So that's everything I've been loving this month. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. If you have already subscribed, then please push the bell button because you'll get a notification every time I upload, which is every Sunday at six. So check back next week to see my new video.